What the f dude? Be the horn, be the horn. Only on six incredible video tonight as we get an exclusive look into the heart stomping moments. This video out of the horror in Hawaii. A South Florida man who lives there documenting as he and others escape that apocalyptic looking zone hit by the wildfires. We want to get right on over to NBC6 reporter Jessica Vallejo who joins us live in the studio with wow. uh, more of this harrowing story and we see it all there yeah. unfolding in part in video Jessica. Yeah, guys, this man is from Miami. He's actually a Belen, an FIU graduate who moved to Lahaina just two years ago. And he was one who escaped the harring, raging walls of fire warning. The video you're about to watch is hard to see. I feel the f This is what Diego Rivera from Miami woke up to on Tuesday in his new home in Lahaina. Fire flares were going through his window. He knew he had to get out. These were the terrifying moments Rivera faced while escaping the raging walls of fire. Just go! Within seconds, Rivera saw the horror spread through the streets, incinerated cars and buildings, power lines down, trees burning. Just go! A jarring sight, a person laying on the ground with the walls of fire caving in. Rivera had no time to help. Somebody's down right here. Somebody's down. The brush fire was so quick and the heat made it hard to breathe. But after a long journey, Rivera and the other two in their car made it to safety. Oh, dang, it's hot. Days later, the devastation is becoming clear. Nearly 100 are dead. Thousands are still missing. Lost my uncle, Tony, and his wife, and his daughter. Just kept huddling in different corners, getting away from flying debris, getting away from flames. The fact that we weren't incinerated is a miracle. But while people are devastated, they are not alone. It's my destiny, it's what I'm meant to do on this earth. People have been sending aid. Michael Capone, the CEO of the nonprofit in Doral, the global empowerment mission, has been in ground zero for days now. Issue right now, that's why we're focused on, is basically the relocation aspect. And we start putting families out of the shelters and into those homes. While help is on its way, survivors are holding on to hope. You just trust in him. He has a purpose for us. Did intend on speaking to Rivera today. He is dealing with heartaches at this time. If you would like to help, Jem is accepting donations. You can find that link on our website. That's NBC6.com. I'm live in the studio, Jessica Vallejo, NBC6 News.